So in this video, I want to tell a story about something I did not too long ago that ruined my friendships with people. Actually, it didn't ruin my friendships with anyone, but I'm going to say that for comedic effect and also to build suspense or something like that. Anyway, this was called The Charts. And after this video, whether or not you want to copy what I did with your friends is up to you. But it might just be a life or death situation. Or actually, a keep your friendship situation as this is gonna put to the test the strength of the bonds between you and your friends. Just like it did to mine. And yes, I'm greatly exaggerating this, but that's the point. Anyway... This all started back in 2020, right when that quarantine started. There was a couple different times where we had little family game nights in my house because there was nothing else to do, and I decided to start keeping track of who won each board game we played because we did it many different times. So I had this little list going, and then eventually I thought, hey, I should expand this in some way, and... Around that same time, by that same time, I mean, by the time the summer came around in 2020, I'm talking like the month of May here, we started getting back together with our friends, even though we weren't supposed to. We had a, we started having a lot of sleepovers, even though it was still technically quarantine times, whatever it was. I decided to bring these charts to the games I played with my friends, because obviously it was going to be better with friends than with family, because if it's just the family in your house, you're only really going to play board games because your parents are involved, and they're not going to want to play video games. But when the friends are there, we did a lot more stuff, so it got really diverse and really interesting, and I really enjoyed it at first, and it was pretty fun, but it eventually started to crumble on all of us. So what I did... Each time we had a sleepover, we kind of just naturally played games anyway, so we had been having lots of sleepovers in the years before 2020, but this specific time, or one specific day in May when we had a sleepover, I decided to start keeping track of who was winning each game, and we would split into teams sometimes, we would do 1v1v1s, 4 player free for alls 2v2s, all kind of mix and match stuff. And I kept this nice little chart going with who was winning what and how many games each person had won. And at first, like I said, things were going well. In the summer of 2020, we played a lot of different games over the sleepovers we had. I'll have pictures of the different charts I was keeping just to show how many games we played. And you'll also get to see just kind of how it gradually fell off over time. So in this first one, you can see games such as Foosball, Uno, Wii Sports Resort, Super Smash Bros, Pokemon Cards, Dodgeball, Cornhole, Mario Kart, Mario vs. Luigi, Keep Away, Scattergories, everything from board games to physical games to video games. We were doing it all, and it was fun at first to keep track of these things. And then... We eventually moved on to the fall of 2020. We kept going, and after the fall happened, I essentially went onto this website called crownawards.com, and I decided to make medals as a little special commemorative way to quote-unquote celebrate all the achievements we had made and all the games we had won. So I took the charts, I actually didn't include the fall ones, but the original charts I made for the summer of 2020, and I tallied up what games were won by each person who won the most, and I got the first, second, third, and fourth most, and I made little medals on this website called Crown Awards where you can just make trophies and stuff, and I ordered them, and then the next time we had a sleepover, I handed out these little personalized trophies with our names on them, and it said, like, summer 2020 games on the back as a way to make it even more fun, per se. And I also made a bunch of little hand-drawn trophies for more specific games of who won the most of 
what specific game. And like I said, things were going well at first. Then we continued into the fall of 2020, like I said. And as you can already tell with this one, there's a lot less going on. I don't know if this trend, because you're going to see this trend, was actually because of this. But I like to think it was, because... Each season, we kind of played less and less games, and I'm pretty convinced by this point that it was because of me keeping track of everything. And as soon as we got to the fall of 2020, we were already kind of seeing what was wrong with these so-called charts. At least I wasn't, but the three friends that I was doing all this with, it kind of became a running gag against me that I was a little goofy geek for keeping track of all of this and at some points people in this group would actually kind of get aggravated by the charts like if we split into two teams the losing team would get really mad that they lost and they knew that the charts were on the line and this would lose them a point and then the other team would be getting a point and it would get really heated and sometimes we'd try and sneak by, sneak things out of the charts and get mad that something was going in the charts because we didn't want to let the other team get a point or other people to get a point. And at some point, someone just had so many other points that people didn't have and it just felt unfair. And it really started to get heated and it was really testing the strength of our friendship. Not that we were just going to stop being friends because of this, but it was really a uh, just a whole ordeal that came out of something so simple, something I thought was so fun and innocent at first, and just a few months later, we were really getting heated with it. And moving on to the winter of 2020, slash the winter of 2021, you know, uh, like December, January, that kind of stuff, there is significantly less games, especially from the original one. And then moving on one more time, we kind of stopped it here once we got to the spring of 2021. We never kept track of the charts again, and as you can see, this is easily the smallest list of them all. So, it's just a short little story, but I thought I'd make a video on it, because I think it's still kind of funny looking back how I wanted to make these charts, and at first, I didn't mention it, but... After we did the games in the fall and the winter, I made medals again and a bunch of more trophies, and I actually made them for the spring, the fall, and the winter. I just kind of stopped doing the medals after the winter. It was fun at first. It was a fun little thing to keep us competitive with, with each other and to play more games and to get these trophies out of it, even though that most of them were just made of paper, were handmade, and nothing was official. But it all kind of went downhill over time, and we got really aggressive with it and people were just so mad that one game was gonna get counted for the charts and one thing wasn't and just the entire term the charts became such a huge and meaningful phrase among my friend group so yeah I thought I'd tell that story and if anyone's seeing this maybe they'd want to try it out with their friends and hopefully it doesn't devolve into anything insane like it did of mine or hopefully it does not that I would wish that on anyone but it could bring out some funny memories so yeah if you watched this and thought it was at all interesting or something like that then check out my channel or check it out anyway regardless of what you thought and like forward slash subscribe any of that stuff if you want and thanks for watching. Also, this video might be coming out a day late. I really don't know. And if it doesn't, it's going to be a later than usual. I kind of forgot to uh, make this, so it also might be a little rushed, but sorry about that.